Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, northern suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about that 1955 Ford Fairlane. Oh my gosh, two door Victoria, beautiful car. Give you all the details in a moment. Well, greetings from the sales floor of Ellingson Motor Cars here in Rogers, Minnesota, northern suburb of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about our latest addition, a 1955 Ford Fairlane Victoria. 1955 being one of those outstanding years for Ford, selling over 1.4 million automobiles. Oh my goodness, I'll give you all the details in a moment. But you're going to want to watch this entire video from start to finish because we're going to do a cold start. We're going to do a walk around. You'll get more pictures, more views of the car. So it's all those details right there. Now it will also, you can click on the link in the description and it'll take you right to our website and our website being www.ellingsunmotorcars.com where you'll find all the information on the car, the pricing structure and all our additional inventory, almost a hundred automobiles and collectibles ranging from cars all the way in the 1920s all the way up into the 1970s and beyond. So if you're looking for your first collectible, your second or your 100th, chances are Ellingson Motor Cars right here in Rogers probably has something that will intrigue you to say the least. But if you're looking for kind of that nice entry level, I guess that's kind of what I always look at. Nice entry level Ford. I love the two door Victoria, love the openness. I mean, the way it looks, I mean, that was really, really something that people really, really enjoyed. Plus, it's got all the stuff that it's a great color combination. I mean, you got torch red with snowshoe white. I mean, I just love the two-tone. And then they have the big stripe that goes down the side that breaks the color up. Very, very nice. And of course, the white wall tires, the full hubcaps with the Ford Crest in the middle. And uh, again, 1955 everything was leaning towards rockets and airplanes and spaceships and that's why it gives it the impression that the car is moving i love the hood ornaments myself they are just one of those really really neat things that as a kid looking out the windshield it always looked like you were going into outer space if you will now the car comes with a uh, good ford the uh, 272 v8 overhead motor overhead cam motor uh, nicely detailed, if you will, nice chrome. I, and many people like the new grill because this is a big changeover from 1954 and that was a changeover in the name. Remember, this is now called the Fairlane. The Crest line was the top of the line, but 1955, Ford changed it to the Fairlane, which was now the top of the line of all things. It does have under this, under this hood the Ford V8, but it also has an Edelbrock four barrel carburetor on it. Gives you a little more performance. Uh, also dual exhaust going out the back. So you have those features, gives you nice drivability. Uh, you look at the inside of the car, of course. You take a look, it's a Ford-O-Matic, automatic. Anyone can jump in this car, put it in gear and drive it. I tell you, that's just one of those things that they, you, know, you can just do with the beautiful interior. Someone has added some nice things. Look at that, it's got seat belts, front and rear seat belts. 1956, I believe, was the first year that seat belts could be ordered from Ford. Obviously, it's just a nice feature today for people. And if you're taking the car down the road, really, really a nice thing. Yes, it's got dual mirrors. It's got, oh, it's got fender skirts as well. Fender skirts is always one of those things we say you can always take them off if you don't like them. We just always, a lot of times we'll leave them on the car. You can take them off easier. Maybe you like to look at the white wall tires better, you know, the, but they go with the car. Easy on off, not a, not a serious problem. No, it's a, one of those cars. Look at the size of the steering wheel. I mean, they give you lots of steering. You know, with that big steering wheel and whatever, you have more than enough uh, ability to move this car, steer it and drive it down the road. No, I like the interior. Great color combination of the white and red vinyl with the white buttons, very nice. Looks like there's an original radio still in place. Kind of neat, they haven't really done anything to what I call disrupt the dash, if you will. Sometimes cars that are of this vintage, they've done lots of changes and whatever. The one change that they did do, which most of us will be very appreciative of, 
1955, Ford, most Fords, all Fords were still six volt. Someone has converted this to a 12 volt system, which really makes it start easier. I just think it's one of those things that always has been one of those things that the 55 Fords took them another, another year to catch on, but with that 12 volt conversion really starts nicely. You'll have to watch again the video to see all those other things when we do it. Now you can find all of our cars on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram as well. Uh, give us a like, leave us a comment or subscribe. We appreciate that very, very much. Uh, you'll find all, you'll have this car on it, our current inventory, and it's kind of an added bonus. We'll have some of the cars that we've sold over the years there as well. So if you have time to peruse the internet and you just like to look at old car stuff and trucks and whatever, take a look at those sites. You'll enjoy them very, very much. No, it's just one of those cars that's a really nice two-door entry-level car that you can just get in and enjoy. Uh, I, I always, like I say, it's just one of those things. I've been kind of a Ford guy. I love the love vent windows. Always been one of the things for me with the vent window because, you know, when my folks smoked when I was a kid, we had a 54 Ford Victoria. You know, it's nice to get that air flowing out. One other thing that this car has that's really kind of a nice extra, which was very popular back in 1955, was the Continental Kit. That is also, you have a spare tire in the trunk as well, but it also has a uh, Continental Kit on back. Just another one of those extras that kind of differentiates you from the crowd, if you will, in 1955. No, I really like, I mean, the, they made sure to let you know that it's a Ford and it is a Victoria. It's always kind of fun. As a kid, you were very good at trying to identify all these old cars that were out there. And that was kind of helpful sometimes, if you will. Now, if you're like me, you say, you know, I really like the car. I'm looking at it online. It's great. But, you know, I would like to see it in person. Come on down to Ellingson's or whatever. We are open Monday through Friday from 10 to 5 and Saturdays 10 to 4. So if you're like me, you want to come down and touch it, feel it, make sure that it is here. It's a, uh, something that you can certainly do. Car does have Southern history. I mean, it's uh, California history. There's some stuff that goes back to there. By the way, you can give us a call. We're open, like I said, Monday through Friday and Saturdays as well. Give us a call at 763-428-7337. There's always someone here who can answer your questions about the particular vehicle. We can answer questions about shipping or payments or how you wish to pay for all those things. We can steer you in lots of different directions. The one thing that I get asked all the time when you have a particular car, I don't care if it's a Ford, it's a Chevy, it's a Hudson, it's a Studebaker, it's always a good idea to join either the local club, that's the Ford club or whatever, and the National Club, because those are very helpful folks. They have a newsletter. Lots of times, if there's something you're looking for, whatever, that's great. Plus, you get in with a car, it's a nice bunch of people. There's always what we call Mr. Wrench, who can answer any of your technical questions. And, oh yeah, Charlie, he knows everything about 55 Ford. He's had 10 of them. So, you know, always one of those things to do just to keep yourself apprised of everything you want to know about this particular car. So, well, we thank you again for watching our videos. We appreciate it very much. And we will see you next time at www.ellingsonmotorcars.com.